Hey Salters. Okay, part three. Um, I really love this question. Now that we've found ways to hear students' stories, what should we do with that information? We know students are going to have difficulties in the classroom, but we still want them to learn. How do we help them learn? Now what? Yay. Okay. This is what you want to do. You heard that um, dad's angry, depressed, maybe. And you've either um, hooked up the student with counseling and you know that they are going regularly, or you've walked the student down to the counselor to know that, that at least that initial um, you know, connection has been made. Now what you're gonna do is just check in every once in a while. How you doing? I've been thinking about you. Never underestimate the phrase, I've been thinking about you. Number one indicates there is a person to think about and some of these kids don't feel like people. Number two, you've been spending your time thinking about them. That's huge. And that's huge to a kid. How are you doing? I've been thinking about you. How's it going with your dad? Right? If you're in a space, you know, after class or lunchtime or something where you could, where you could have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, the other piece is that if, if part of this question is asking about like, okay, so, you know, and they're still acting out, they're still doing, all right, they need to be monitoring their own um, feelings and you have been talking about zones of regulation and great, um, but it's not a pass and students don't want it to be a pass, but like every single one of us, they're gonna see what they can get away with maybe. Um, and you can just let students know to the whole class, if you're having a rough day, I wanna help you with that. But number one, you can't make your rough day everybody else's rough day, cause that makes your day worse. And the rest of us aren't happy either. Also, you can take a break. You can ask to take a break, and I know your school has probably some wonderful ways to take a break. One is in the classroom. One might be, you know, um, hallway activity, or, or um, I saw a wonderful one where a kid had these um, colorful strips of tape to follow that had the kid doing different things. You know, at this point, you jump over here. This You follow this little maze or whatever. Um, or you go and talk to somebody for a brief amount of time. I tell my students, you're responsible for the work that we're doing in here if you have to take a break. And a break is a short break again. 